Hi everyone, welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. So in today's video, we will be looking at Tesla. So Tesla currently is at the daily time frame. So for Tesla, we are trading at about $730 level. And back in our previous technical analysis video, it was trading about $710 and we are seeing a 7% increase to about $760 levels right now. Tesla has been retracing and we are looking at 730 level. So I've drawn out the support zone over here. This is a critical support zone, which you have seen buyers coming in, in the retest back in 14 September or 13 September has been retesting this. I can see buyers pushing prices higher. And now we are on the second retest and this second retest, if I zoom in a bit, you can see that this second retest is a bit higher compared to the first retest, showing that there is buyers coming in and supporting prices higher. So another thing I'd like to highlight is that the 50 EMA as well, this is in the support zone and acts as a further confluence of support if prices further retest this support zone. So this shows us that there are good buyers coming in at this level to push prices higher. And based purely on price action, if you can see from this, I've drawn out the higher highs, which you have seen on Tesla showing. And this very bullish price action based on the higher lows as well. And these are supported by the EMAs. So these EMAs shows very good support. You see higher highs, higher lows being formed. And currently we might be forming a higher low over here. Of course, as we all know that there is also the indicators that we need to pay attention to. So for this indicator, the trader dynamic index, the green line over here is the RSI. I can see that the RSI is showing a bit of a bearish signal. So this is a risk we need to know that there is bearish momentum coming in. You can see that this coincides very nicely with the retracement. And what we would like to see is a current the RSI to show an increase in bullish momentum. But right now we can note that there is a reduction in bullish momentum for Tesla. So of course, what I would expect to see is my stand is that there's a higher probability of prices bouncing on this support zone and continuation to a higher side. However, given the overall market bearish moves in the past few days, there is an increasing probability of the prices breaking through the EMAs and support, retest and further continuation to the downside, which we could see reach the 200 EMA. So that is on the risk management side of the Tesla trade. My stand is that there is a higher probability still for prices to continue higher based purely on price action indication, based purely on our indicators and EMAs and support zones. There's definitely a higher probability to go higher, but because of the bearish market correction, there is a risk that prices could go down further. So if we look at the S&P 500, we can see that in our previous analysis as well, we did mention that if there is a strong close below this 50 EMA, we can expect further correction of the prices to the downside to retest this 200 EMA. So what you can see is that there are two big bearish candles that close below this 50 EMA. And if we look at price action, it might retest this 50 EMA and continue to the downside. So if that happens, then we'll look to Tesla and reanalyze because then all the stocks will be in a higher risk of moving to the downside as well. So that is the risk you need to know for this. So right now, the market is looking very bearish. And currently, if you are looking to enter into a new position, do reduce your sizing. And if you are looking to take some profits, that might be good as well. So that's all for my technical analysis for Tesla and a brief overview of the S&P 500. Do trade safe. And if you did enjoy this video, do me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.